I, I noticed another problem in the garage. I don't know if anybody else did. <clears throat> that back corner of the garage was also dropping. Did you guys notice that? <coughs> back corner of that garage was dropping. Which is why I remember earlier I was saying, I think that there's a water mm -hmm. related you know. problem running through this property that's causing that. Cause I've never seen that in the house and a garage having a similar type of a problem. Uh, let me take that back. I did did see that one other, two other times, but they were attached. It was attached garage and it, you know, the garage was attached to the house. <clears throat> so I've seen that before. Um, one, one, uh, it was an expensive house, an expensive neighborhood and the owner tried covering up. <coughs> this is when you start seeing those types of things. Now you start asking the, the sellers questions. <clears throat> and I'm like, well, I could tell there's been a problem for a while. And finally he broke down and told me, he says, yeah, there's a river running, running <laughs> underground right next to the house. He says, that's why you see the dip in the yard in between. That wasn't the city putting it there. That was flat when I bought the house. Oh, okay. so it dipped up. Yeah, and now it's a valley going the whole length of the property back past the neighborhood. And there's a river, you know, like, like two blocks away. So there's, it was taking all that water. It was running underground, running it towards the river. <clears throat> so he he'd been trying to fix it for many years. Then there's this other house over in uh, it's in North St. Paul or is it Maplewood? In that somewhere in that area, I think it's right on that borderline. I think in the last 20 years, I've looked at it four times. <clears throat> in the last 20 years, the first time I looked at it as a, was as a real estate agent, and I was trying to get the listing for it. So that would have been back in the 90s. And then I became a full-time investor and the lady called me and I went and looked at it and I'm like, oh, it's the same lady I was trying to get the listing from. Mm -hmm. So this now I'm trying to buy it and the, the sidewalk and the deck on the side of the house were dropping, mm -hmm. like seriously dropping. And then I saw the problem down in the basement, started asking the questions. My offer came in really low. Then about 10 years later, she called me back again. Same lady. She's been trying to sell it. Nobody will buy it. 10 years. 10 years. Wow. And then it was about two years after that, I got a call from a wholesaler who had it under contract. And I went and looked at it. And by that now, you could see that much of a drop. Wow. You could see where the original line was. It was like almost a two-foot drop two for the deck and stuff. She just finally gave up because she had been jacking it back up. Getting in there and doing that, what is it, that sand jacking, yeah, jacking it back up. And the last time I looked at it, yeah, it was like, it was a good foot and a half of a drop. And then she, they, she literally had a bucket to get to the step to get into the front entry of the house. Does the sand jacking 